you know that we can compute the standard matrix of a linear transformation, even when we have a transformation between two abstract vector spaces. In that case, we need to work around. We need to use coordinate factors in order to get back to our n. But how does that work in practice? Is it difficult? Well, let us do an explicit example, a transformation from P2 to P3 in this video, and find out. So we go from P2 to P3 with a transformation t. What does the transformation t do? Well, it only multiplies the polynomial by a factor t plus 2. Okay. Now we need the basis for P2 and for P3. And in this particular example, we take the standard basis both for P2 and for P3. Well, it's the easiest to do computations with. So b equals 1 t t squared and c equals 1 t t squared t cubed. Then we know that our t of p of t in the basis c is given by some matrix m times p of t in the basis b. And we know how to find our matrix m. It's t of b1 in the basis c, t of b2 in the basis c, and t of b3 in the basis c. So what do we have to do? We have to find t b1, t b2, t b3, and compute them in the basis c. So there we go. First we compute t b1. Well, b1 is 1, so t b1 is just t plus 2 times 1, which is 2 plus t. Then we continue with t b2. That's t plus 2 times t, because b2 equals t, so that yields 2t plus t squared. And finally, the t of b3, b3 equals t squared, so uh, the t of b3 equals t plus 2 times t squared, so 2 times t squared plus t cubed over there. And uh, we do, don't want uh, the t of b1, etc., but we want them in the basis c. Fortunately, that's easy because that's a standard basis. So, for example, t of b1 over here in the basis c equals 2 times 1 plus 1 times t plus 0 times t, t squared plus 0 times t cubed. So our t of b1 is c will be the factor 2, 1, 0, 0. And similarly for the other ones, we get those factors 0, 2, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 2, 1. And then we have the t of b1 in c, t of b2 in c, and t of b3 in c. And we find our m matrix, which just has that as our three columns. And well, how can we use this m matrix? If you want, for example, the uh, easiest example, if you want to compute the image of some polynomial in p2, like uh, the image of 2 plus 5t minus 3t squared. So how, how can we do that? First, we find a coordinate factor in b which is 2, 5, minus 3. And then we can use our m matrix to find the image of p of t, because we know the t of p in the basis c equals m times our coordinate factor. Now we have our matrix m, so this is just matrix times factor. We know how to do that, we get an other factor. That other factor is our coordinate factor of the image in the basis c, so we can find the, the, p of, uh, the, the image of uh, p of t which is 4 plus 12 times t minus 1 times t squared minus 3 times t cubed. And there we have the image of our vector p. So that's an example of how we can use this matrix.